Over the years, I have been to many gaming expos and conventions, and experienced the thrill of playing the old arcades I used to play as a kid, the likes of Double Dragon, Outrun and Terracrester. Usually to attend these events, it involves having to drive for two hours plus, and sometimes even staying away overnight at a hotel because of the distance. Well recently I attended a pop-up arcade experience with my daughter, which was literally two miles from where I live. Let's take a look at what this experience had to offer. When you first arrive, you are greeted with the timeless sound of all the machines playing at the same time. It was the first time my daughter had seen an arcade layout like I would have seen back in the day, but without the smoke and the darkness, obviously. Let's take a look at some of the great games that were on offer. I let my daughter play a lot of these, as it was her first time she'd seen most of them, and the crudeness of some of them did make her chuckle. encourages violence. Could you press the view change button to change the view. That is so slow. You have to hit down as well, isn't you? Yeah. I think you push it. What about the thrusters? Oh my god. I've gone off the screen. I don't even know where I am. Here, other side. <laughs> I love how bright the things yeah, are. I do like that. It's like. Like an actual like, firework. I didn't realise it was a real thing. Well, yeah, because he goes home, doesn't he, after he plays this? You know what you've got to do? Yeah, you get to right to the top.
Jump over. You can't jump, look, I'm trying to go left and it's not letting me. Unless I want to jump and then go over like that way. Ah. Wow. Tokyo Drift. One of my highlights of the day was racing my daughter on the sit-down two-player version of Virtua Racing. Very difficult with one hand. The number of classic arcades there was just immense and kudos to the organisers because it was really good. Congratulations! What's this game called? I don't know. Oh, it's like Pong, isn't it? And of course, we couldn't leave the arcade section without playing my favourite game of all time, Terra Cresta. As well as the arcade section, there was also tables at the back with old consoles and computers on, such as the Sega Saturn, Playstation, Nintendo 64, Atari 2600, the old Pong machines, the C64, Spectrum and of course the classic Commodore Amiga. There was also another room where you could play table football or Giant Connect 4, but to top my day off they also had the electronic handheld games from the 1970s and 80s. The first ever a game I ever owned was Firefox F7 by Grandstand and to my amazement they had that there as well. So do you have these at home then? This was my first ever owned computer game. 
basically like an advanced Tamagotchi. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I can safely say that me and my daughter thoroughly enjoyed the day and not have to travel miles to enjoy it also was a big bonus. I will definitely be going again in March when it comes back to the local community centre and I would highly recommend it to anybody else who lives in the local area to visit and support it. It's places like this that will keep arcades going for the younger generation for years to come. If you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe. Also, for more up-to-date information, please follow my Facebook page.